I'm Mary Ann Cushy, and this is your morning update for Wednesday, November 10th. Today, the sister of missing Chula Vista mom, Maya Miliette, will be in court. She'll petition for temporary custody of her sister's three children since Larry Miliette was arrested and charged with his wife's murder. The three children have been living with his parents. The couple says they want to relocate the children to their home in Moreno Valley. Other news here, a Fallbrook family is desperately hoping that their mother, their grandmother actually, will be found safe after being missing for nearly a week. 83-year-old Elena Roy was last seen on the corner of Elder and Main Street. She left her home, her husband said, after they had a small argument. Anyone who has any information is being asked to call the Sheriff's Department. Our local deputies, police officers, firefighters and paramedics now have a brand new way to train for driving on the job. The Sheriff's Emergency Vehicle Operations Center, or EVOC, is located on 40 acres off the 905 in Otay Mesa. It features three separate state-of-the-art driving courses. Up till now, local first responders had to use parking lots around the county to do their mandatory training. Today, county supervisors are holding a special meeting on inappropriate conduct at board meetings. Last week, one speaker used racial slurs targeting public health officer Wilma Wooten. Supervisors are proposing stricter rules against harassment and abuse and better facilitation of public comments. That meeting begins at 2. Parents with children in the National School District will have to wait a few more days if they were hoping to get their kids vaccinated at school. The district's new on-campus vaccine program was supposed to start today, but now it's been pushed back to Friday. The district told us that there was a slight delivery delay. So now the rollout would begin on Friday for students ages 5 to 11 at Central Elementary. The vaccines will be offered at other campuses in the days ahead. Today, crews are gearing up to start a big dredging project near the Coast Highway in Del Mar. They'll be working along the San Diego Lagoon. About 16,000 cubic yards of sand from the river channel will be taken up and then spread along the beach. The work continues for the next two weeks. And Christmas is starting early at the Old Globe. Oh, this is great. Showings of Dr. Seuss, How the Stole, Grinch Stole Christmas starts tonight. The annual tradition is making a return after being canceled last year due to the pandemic. Tickets start at 29 bucks. The show goes through New Year's Eve. And we'll have the very latest news right here at NBC7.com and on TV. And you can also learn more on our podcast that's today in San Diego, where we talk about the day's biggest headlines in less than five minutes. Have a great day, everybody, and stay safe.